Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with day two, Deck the Halls. <laughs> Stop. Is this a bins haul or a thrift haul? This is a thrift haul. With a thrift haul <laughs> that we did after two months of not thrifting. <laughs> Yes. And we found some killer brands. You're definitely wanna get, gonna wanna pay attention yep. because these, there's some bolos out here. That's there's all sure. I'm gonna say. There's some bolos. There sure are. We're a little bit reclumped today. Yeah, a little bit. Our we house a, exploded. We had a day, you know, frozen water pipes, which turned into burst water pipes. Which turned which, into no water. Yeah, it's, it's fine. been. We're good. We're, we're Right. Here we go. How are you? Let's do this. <laughs> Let us know below. How you doing? Uh, Deck the house. Yes. Balls, oh, balls, you're, oh. Balls. We still have cats. It's fine. Everything's All right. good. What do you got here? This is a Chaser t-shirt. Okay, some people say don't pick up Chaser, but I couldn't resist. Look how cute this is. It's got a hot on the front. Boom, look at the back, the graphic. Bam! Lady Luck, Danica, what's up? Go, That's Danica. Uh, I don't know if I have a comp for this or not. I price all Chaser at about twenty four ninety five, and I wait for offers. That's pretty fair. We try to provide comps in our thrifts hauls, not our bins hauls, okay? Because we just pick it up. Yeah. But in our thrifts haul, that's for you. We do try to provide comps so that you know what you're getting into if you purchase any of these brands. Yeah, this is absolutely for me. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. If you're new here, <laughs> he is Chewbacca in real life. Oh, right. This is cool, right? This is really good. So this is a new with tags. Um, Scott E. Vest. Scott this is, E. Right. The men's quest vest. It's really Look, good. This thing right there. You buy these to travel. This is our this is our hot tip. You travel hot tip. travel in Spirit Airlines. You just load up your vest. Yeah, you man. don't need to pay for a carry on. <laughs> this thing has a zillion and one pockets for every kind of device. I like how it labels them with little yeah, icons. Yeah, right. It's like here, your giant tablet can then go here into they this. They can't see it. Yeah, into yeah. this pocket right here, and it's massive it's craziness. Your, your camera sunglasses. goes here. Sunglasses. Your pen. pen. Because you have to have a pen when you travel. If you look up Scott E vest on Scott E vest, it's called like it like an E yeah, vest. Yeah, like the letter E. We'll show it again. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't delineate. Right. I always thought it was a Scott E vest. No, it's Scott E vest. Uh huh. And um, e -vest. they cost like two hundred dollars on Amazon. Yeah, and this one, like I said, it's still got the tags on it. Um, I think we can get $100 for this, for sure. I absolutely sure. think we can get $100 for this. If thing. we don't use it ourselves, we leave in the morning. <laughs> I don't remember what exactly I paid for this. Okay, thing. everyone yeah. asks. I'm not drinking a White Claw. I'm drinking a Virgil's Zero Dr. Better, Yeah. which is 100% like, better than a White Claw. <laughs> totally better than a White Claw. It's a Dr. Pepper for keto people. Mm, so good. All right. Um, I got this vintage Cresco jacket y'all okay so i looked this up you looked it up i did not find a comp we have sold this cresco brand yep. many times before but it's always been suede or leather yeah i could not find any polyester yeah so we're gonna have to use our instinct and price this normally the leather and suede even if they're kind of busted mm -hmm. we can get about a hundred for them yeah but a polyester i might try to sell it to a props house which is someone that does movies or tvs good call you know, they've got some 60s and 70s shows coming up that are being filmed right about now. Mm -hmm. So I can try to market it that way and still try to get 100 for it. But the brand Cresco is pretty stellar. Yeah. So if you do find it in shearling or suede or yeah. leather. Some of the older vintage ones from like yeah. the 50s and 60s yeah. can, can bring in some really, really good money. For sure. All right, let's move it along. Okay. What is this thing? I forget. Oh, this is it Vince? It is Vince. Vince, yes. We love selling Vince, period. The knits. <laughs> the, yes. Nice. Look at that. Their knits do the best for us, I think. Yeah. If you and, guys don't know the brand Vince, this is. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We went to right three thrift stores and it was 50% off day. It so was whatever. 50 off day. Yeah, this whatever was... you see on the tag, we paid 50% of that. 
So, $3.99, so two bucks. Two bucks. And it's an open knit. I'm yeah. trying to give you a lot of keywords. You guys like when I do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an open knit, basic, neutral capsule wardrobe. A lot of that will work to sell that piece. It was only $2. This retails for a lot. It really, really does. Okay, this was just an... I just had to grab this t-shirt. All it's, right, Dan's a sucker for a cat shirt. <laughs> <laughs> are you, Come on. Are you keeping this? Come on. Uh, I don't think so. It's from the mountain. It's a size small. I don't... The mountain can do actually can pretty well. It. Uh, it's a... That's it the only reason I got it, because I remember you telling me about it. It's a hippie brand. It used to be in the middle of my mall growing up as a kid. Yeah. And some people have a nostalgic over. I don't know if it's still open, but the mountain can do okay. I mean, like twenty bucks, okay. Hey. All right. I think it was like two dollars and fifty cents. Okay, but it's a cat shirt. Cat shirt. Cat stuff sells. Uh, this is like an olive green. Um, it's a casual button-up shirt. It's got the epaulets on the shoulders. It's from Zania Sport. Which. I did do a comp from this and I couldn't find a good comp because I, I did not see any, this is a military style shirt. That's yes. what you would call this because it has the epaulets. Right. If you don't know what an epaulet is, it's the little piece on the shoulder that has a button on it. Mm -hmm. And um, that makes it a military style, which can go for more. Yeah. So I think maybe we can get 40 or 50 for this. I'm hoping. That's at least what we'll start it out at. Yep. Zania Sport makes just regular polos, button downs, like. So the comps weren't exactly that, and that's more yeah. utilitarian, more trending. So I think we can maybe price it a little yeah, bit Yeah, it's, it's a little more uh, of the casual line from Xenia. For sure. Yeah. Oh man, this is a good one. This is a good one, right? It's a very good one. Three ninety nine on the tag, so, so this was two bucks. Two bucks. This is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. If you guys don't know this brand, stop what you're doing <laughs> and look at it. It's right, a I'm Ralph gonna, Lauren brand. I'm gonna take this price tag off. Yeah, everything we got was like two dollars. Yeah, so we can fine. roll. We can roll the tape if we really need to. Here you go. This line of Ralph Lauren was discontinued, yep. and women love it, particularly if it's in a patriotic situation. Oh man, do we have this all is the black and white? It would be better if it was blue, sure. red, white, and blue, or whatever. But it is black and white. It's got these little. Um, it's a sheer stars top, and it's got these little tie sleeves, which are pretty adorable. It's got, a, got a tie in the front here as well. It's got that's called a pussy bow. Yes, I said it on YouTube. Oh that's what it's called. Oh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I couldn't find comps for this exact, but I'm gonna start it at a fifty. That awesome. de that denim and supply has been discontinued. Their jeans do really well. Their sweaters, their yeah. button downs. It's just Ralph Lauren, but you can't get it anymore. Right. And it has that patriotic vibe. All right. What is this? this I may have gotten this for myself. Understood. But I'll show it to you. <laughs> this brand can be okay. So Velvet is a Graham and Spencer brand. Okay. And it it's okay. It's good. It's good, it retails for a lot. But this is Velvet for Anthropology. And- Did that focus in? It was very blurry. I'm trying to get it now, I'm trying. Hey, there we go. much better. I take the price tag off. So this is Velvet for Anthropology, and this is newer. Okay. So I will see if I can sell this. If I can't, I will keep it. It has some, I'm gonna give some keywords here. It has some puff sleeves. It's just a regular t-shirt, but it's in this really trending rust color. And it has these gauze, 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 gauze puff sleeves. <laughs> I'm sorry. In in the fashion world, we say gauze, and everybody's like, "Who? What?" Right. Anyway, I might keep this because it's real fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, Velvet by Graham and Spencer is sold at like Saks Fifth Avenue or Bergdorf's or Neiman's. It's a really nice brand. Okay. It just doesn't resell for that much all the time. But I'm hoping that it's for anthropology. It might be a little better. All right, this, I'm like, keep it. Right? this is a very pink uh, yoga top or, or something, right? From mm -hmm. Neon Buddha. Most of Neon Ooh, Buddha a too close there. does really well for us. It's in this jersey stretch material. We would call it athleisure these days. Yep. Um, 
this is very basic for Neon Buddha. Normally it's art to wear and it has huge mismatched buttons and asymmetrical hems and big collars. I don't know how this is going to do. It's also bubblegum pink, which is just <laughs> not normal for them. Normally it's earth tones. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, your art teacher totally. would wear it. Oh, yeah. But we're going to give it a try. It was $2. We do, I mean, 100% sell-through rate with the brand. Y'all, I got this for me. They have to see it. <laughs> I'm not selling it. I would you no. rip it out of my cold dead hands. Yeah. It was $150. And it is Wrangler. Okay, you can't see it. Whatever. It's Wrangler. It's vintage. It's a chambray button down. I might wear this for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Look at this embroidery. Oh, I yeah. am dead over these pansies. <laughs> and then on the back, like I didn't even comp it. I'm not selling it. I don't care what you say. Right? Look at this. Butterflies. <laughs> and this is all like old school hand embroidery. Look inside. It's all like done. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, they had to see it. They had yeah. to know. That is so cute. So cute. All right, this was two bucks. This is from uh, Alala. I do like this brand. Let me see if it will. No, it's not going to pick that up, but we can. Alala is sold on, what's that site called where they sell the fancy stuff? Mm -hmm. Girl, I can't remember. Where they sell fancy athletic wear. You can get a la la leggings that used to do better. They still do pretty well, but used to do better. This is cool. This is a Terry jersey knit. It's both. Um, it's got a raw hem on both the sleeve cuffs and at the bottom. Yep. And a roll hem around the neck. It's just an oversized, kind of like yoga sweatshirt. Hopefully it'll do well. We only paid a dollar or something for it, so check yeah, it out. Two bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. It was 50% off the day. I'm way more willing. Yep. I know that's only a couple bucks, but I'm more willing to take a risk when it's two dollars versus four dollars. Yeah. Are you like that too? This is definitely for me, y'all. <laughs> I have to show you. Okay, we're not coming this stuff. And Taylor Petite. Anyway, <laughs> look so cute. And Taylor has some cute things, especially the newer, mm -hmm. like with the block font. Actually, let me show you this. You'll learn. Okay. We don't sell a ton of Ann Taylor. This was only two fifty, but this new block font in most brands you can tell it's new oh cool okay yeah good to the know trending font well they don't like the script <coughs> anymore they're over it. over it all right this is from rebecca taylor this was two dollars and fifty cents i i'm sorry but i cannot leave rebecca taylor on the shelf it doesn't do well in resale i'm just being honest y'all but it is such high quality and it feels great and it's pretty and it's silky and i just can't leave it there mm. It's a size four. Yep. Um, this is like a career top, floral. It's really, so this is what makes a high-end brand. This thing probably retailed for a lot. If you don't know Rebecca Taylor, it's like a very high-end brand, but the resale on it is not great. I want to show you this. So normal okay. would just have like a normal polyester backing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping you can see this. Do you see the dots? Yes. That's how you can tell something's high end. This has layers to it. When you walk, this thing shimmers. Uh oh. It is really gorgeous in real life. It's pretty stunning. Now, getting it to sell on the internet is quite a different thing. Right. So, if you're not getting it for a dollar or two, maybe I would say Rebecca Taylor's probably not your bag. Maybe their evening wear can do well. Yep. Oh, but this just is beware. Nice. I know. Oh, man. I know. I was finding it all. This was two bucks also. Two dollars. I'm going to show them to prove it. <laughs> I can't. Because our thrift store is on crack sometimes. Yeah, here. See? It was three ninety nine. dollars yeah, yeah, there you go. Four, I mean, so it's, two bucks. it's just J. Crew. It's just, just J. Crew, but it's Italian cashmere. It's nice. It's very nice. Italian cashmere. Are you kidding me? It's there so was nice. no it's holes so in soft. it. Yeah. This is a classic, like, V Crew, you know what I mean? From back in the day, like, the athletic oh, style. Oh, yeah, see? This is so fun. It's so soft and cozy. This is perfect for the holidays. It's that rust color again. I'm telling y'all, it's trending. And it was $2. How do I not pick 100% cashmere up that was $2? And it was from 2020. I'm like, girl, this is going to my cart. For sure. Every single time. Every time. Cashmere, no matter. I'm going to say a statement. Uh-oh. Cashmere, no matter the brand, sells for us. Right. We have a really fond gnomer in our household called. <laughs> Do you remember what it's called? 
Bins cash. <laughs> Meaning when we're at the bins and we find cashmere that doesn't have holes in it, we buy it. It yeah. doesn't matter. We sold Charter Club. We sold Coldwater Creek. We don't uh, care. It doesn't matter. And uh, we call it bins cash, and it sells every single time, no matter the you brand. You just got to price it right. Not even. People love cashmere. That's true. This is nice. Right? You found this. And you I had sure a little, did. You had a little freak out. I did. Me? <laughs> You're making me sound dramatic. No, I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> this is a very, very trendy brand right now. It's called A Piece Apart. There you go. Keep it in your mind map. Remember this. A Piece Apart. And how you're going to notice this. There are a couple of brands that look just like this, and both all of the brands are pretty great. You're going to hear about a couple in the video. This, this is called a ditzy or chintz flower print. Okay. So it's a very tiny flower. Mm -hmm. print all over and it has a lot of ruffles it's a crisp poplin cotton this yeah, is like a prairie it feels like a men's dress shirt yeah so show them the dress style can you hold it like i, I was trying yeah it's, it's a hard to get into it's like a prairie dress it's tiered and it has ruffles so here's like the bottom of it and it's short so it's tiered here and then it comes up here to these puff sleeves and then it has this open collar here which you can tell this brand is similar to another bolo brand that you're going to want to look for called Doen. D-O-E-N. Okay. Both of these brands are spectacular sell-through rate. And I don't care about brands in general, but I care about sell-through rate. Yeah. Meaning that if you list it, it's going to sell. That is one of the brands, like bloggers wear it. Okay. Young people that are way younger than us wear it. Yeah, I have people. never... I thrift a lot besides the last two months. Never found it in Dallas. I didn't even find it in LA when we went. That's true. So that was a big score for us. And keep your eyes open because even though we, you know, people say I can't find brands like that. Well, we can't either, but we did. It's we right normally there. sell in old lady clothes. You know what I'm saying? I love old lady clothes. And you clothes. know what? That, that thing that she just said about we can't normally find these brands. She's going to be saying it again here in just a second. S just stay tuned for it. I don't even know what's coming. You don't even know. I found this. This giant I love this. thing that you totally. I wear. might want to wear this. Okay? <laughs> See, Do you guys exactly ever wear what stuff? I, said. <laughs> I might want to wear this. I okay. think this is the top. It's got like a big funnel neck. I love wearing a blanket. It's a size medium. It's for free people. I mean, I'm an extra extra small, but like, you can wear a blanket, right? Yeah, you can totally wear a blanket. I can wear this. I did comp this, and it does really <laughs> well. It's a Aztec or Southwestern style. It has a fringe on it. I can't remember exactly. It has the name. Do if I you hold that so people can see it? I don't know. Yeah. I'm like talking to people. <laughs> if you can figure out the style name using Google Lens, which is the camera on your Google app, for free people, it will sell better. A lot of people say they can't sell free people. Mm -hmm. We sell the crap out of free people, but we always, almost always, Yeah have this style name so yeah. it has like a name with it this is like show me tunic or poncho or, i don't remember what it was we'll put it on the screen but if you can have the name i think it'll sell better for you good good call just saying all right what is this red flannel something Mayflower. oh this is mine this, oh, this is, is mine totally oh worse. look at this y'all oh. was this made for me so this is called a double knit and it has the flannel on both sides oh fancy i know it's super thick i'm gonna wear this tomorrow yeah we're going on a plane <laughs> do you get like this every time i go on a plane i'm like what am i gonna wear oh my god I gotta wear what, all the new but stuff. i don't want to look too fancy but i want to look like plain ready this is like okay you know like for the season so if i'm going to cancun i want to look like i'm going to cancun mm, but okay. here it's kind of wintry kind of festive it's yeah. thick but not too thick i could wear an undershirt if i had to take off if i got real hot <laughs> welcome to my mind should I wear the poncho oh. and look like Mary Kate Olsen, or should I wear this and look like a lumberjack? Oh, I don't know, man. That's a tough call. We'll have to see. <laughs> Damn, we'll have to see. Oh, these guys, I'm wearing all of these. So what happens is, I'm real valley growing now. <laughs> we put all of our clothes in a heater at 160 60 degrees for four hours. Luckily, because we don't have a washing machine right now, we have no water in our house, so I can't wash clothes before we go on a trip. But I can wear these clothes because we have disinfected them in the heater. Yes. Right? Well... I mean, if they were dirty, I couldn't, but they're not germy. 
Well, it kills uh, the bugs yes. and certain viral and bacterial things. I'm not sure. I'm not a scientist, yeah. but the claims are pretty good. <laughs> right? Believe them. Ah, uh, sure. I can wear it, right? Totally. We don't have a washer. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm going to wear this. You're going to wear it. I'm going to wear it. All right, this is from Maeve. What is this? That's it's anthropology, an anthropology. Right? Uh, I don't pick up anthropology that much anymore, but this was how much? Two bucks? Two dollars. Okay, yes. so this is gauze. Gauze. <laughs> this is gauze, which is a really thin. It can be a knit or a woven. This is woven. Okay. And here's what I want to show you. What? Hold it up. How far? How far? This is a bat wing. Oh hey. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> bat wing. <laughs> and this is a really trendy style because when you're wearing it, it looks so effortless. Mm -hmm. Like you could just be on like Laguna Beach wearing that or Long Beach and just like open up your arm to show the sunset and you're just like I'm so free <laughs> so I like the style of it is the point picnic loves it that picnic what is your deal y'all yeah. this is the nice the nice nice sweater I had a freaking heart attack hey don't say that that's rude what I mean that's don't give me that kind of reiki body oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay but this brand is on my bucket list and I finally found it. Let's show them the one down here. This yeah. is the better one. The better tag. Better tag. I want you guys to know about these Bolo brands so that your bucket list is high up, aspiring. Yes. Your bucket list needs to be out of reach. And this was on my bucket list and it was out of reach. Mm -hmm. In Dallas, this was, <laughs> unless <laughs> I'm at a buy, sell, trade store and I want to pay 40 or 50 bucks for it. This brand is called Saison. Okay. And Sear it into your brain. Yes. Right. No, move your head. Cover your face. Cover your face, oh. babe. Cover your face. There you go. <laughs> it worked immediately. <laughs> Saison. And here's what's so great about it. It's called, it's made of 37% super, that was Whoa. my phone. It jumps off. It's fine. I'm getting a new so phone today. Loud. Wow. Su super kid mohair. <laughs> super kid. 37% alpaca and 26% polyamide. Nice. This is meant to be worn two ways. If you what? know this sweater, it's very famous in the blogosphere, in the influencer world. It happens to be my size. It's bitty. Uh -oh. Itty bitty. Oh, man. So you, it, the tag is here. Mm -hmm. So apparently it's a cardigan, right? right? And you can wear it like this and look like Zoe from New Girl. <laughs> But you can also wear it like this, and the buttons are in the back, and I'm dead. Get out of here. Like Miss Mary Mac. No way. Buttons down your back. Uh, the most famous version of this sweater is striped, like nautical striped or like Parisian. This style is from Paris. Okay. I mean, this brand is from Paris, and their, their styles are very Parisian, very basic, but the most high-quality fabrics you could ever imagine. I shop by feel. 100%. Mm -hmm. That's how I found the J. Crew cashmere. Like everything that you're seeing that's high quality, I found it. I am going through the racks. Our thrift stores are ginormous. Yep. And I go through so fast and I just use my little paws to like feel. And I felt this and I was like, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Stopped I heard, me. I, heard it. <laughs> I know. And oh, it's new without tags. That's crazy. The tag thing is still here, like in pristine condition. No wow. one has ever, I mean, they may have worn it once, but like, yeah. Not washed it, not taken to the dry cleaner because this would be gone. Gone. This is what the actual cover your face, babe. Cover your face. This is what the actual tag looks like. Look, as soon as he covers his face, it works. So they have this really fancy, the whole thing, but it stays on. And if you find it, it's not worth a ton, okay? So, like, on the, this probably retail for $150. Okay, okay. But they don't make a ton of stuff. And so finding it, I see. it holds its resale value so well, we can probably sell this for almost a hundred. Oh, cool. Okay. It just holds the value because of the quality. Yeah. And it's seasonless and it's timeless. Like it doesn't matter if you got it in 2002, I don't even know if they were on. <laughs> or now because it's such classic styles. Okay. Love brands like this. Hopefully you learned something today. Right, love it. Love a Saison. In fact, I bought a Saison dress should be here any day from one of our people on our Facebook group. Yes. She had just found Saison on the same day I did, and it was in my size. I said, girl, give me that link. <laughs> I'm like, I could wear that with it. I'd be the cutest. Man, unbelievable. 
The cutest. Okay. This was Man time. five bucks, so two dollars fifty cents. This is a super thin cardigan. This is nice. Nice from Peter Millar. But it's the Crown Crafted line. Wow, this is so nice. This thing is super nice. Yeah, when I checked the comps the for pre owned, uh, it was ridiculous. I would they were say like over a hundred bucks or close to a hundred bucks. It feels like a Lululemon top. Like it's it's jersey. It has super stretch. It's something I did not expect to see in a Peter Miller. Yeah. It feels a little moisture wicking. Wicking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is very. So you shot by feel too. I'm guessing. Yeah. This is. It's really nice. So there are a couple of buttons that are broken. That's mm. the only mm. the downside. So there there is a spare, but only one. And then I think there's at least one, two, three, yeah, four buttons that are cracked. So I'm actually going to try to reach out to Peter Millar and see you if I can try. find. Okay, here's buttons. the other thing. Here's what you could do. If you can sew on a button, which Dan can even sew on a button, so I'm sure you can sew on a button. Yeah. I mean, lots of men, because I'm just meant that Dan's not typically a sewer, <laughs> a but sewist. Sewist. Um, but if you're gonna replace, here's what you want to do. So say we have one and there's three that need replacing. Yeah. Replace all five. No, six. Replace all six. So they match. Go to Joann's, find something of similar size, and replace all six. They're not branded. So no one, it's not gonna devalue the sweater, not having these broken. I mean, obviously the buttons aren't great, they broke. <laughs> I would suggest replacing all six of them. Okay. And if you can't, I mean, what he's saying first, reach out to the company, I think that's. 100% the right thing to do. What's the Might worst they well. can do? They should be like, no. Gosh, this feels nice. It's nice, right? That's like Lulu. Yeah. His pocket? Is what? that a pocket? No. Oh, okay. It's just a wrinkle. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get real excited up in I here. Know, right? Love a pocket. Um, do we know it's, what is, it's merino wool, lyocell, and spandex. So our fingers are so tuned for feeling about millions, maybe, of really? garments. That we know are merino wool. That's crazy. <clears throat> it doesn't feel like wool at all. It feels like little lemon, but we knew the quality. Just both of us touching are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> on your face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Y'all. I saw, I saw just the little ice cream cone. You know, sticking if you watch from us. Underneath a pile of plush, and I knew immediately. I was like, that's Mr. Bingle. <sighs> this is Mr. Bingle. He's our, he's our New Orleans Christmas friend. We love Mr. <laughs> if you live in New Orleans or Louisiana or anywhere around there, this is a famous holiday tradition. Yeah, this was exclusively from Dillard's, it says. So Mr. Mingle is always a snowman with an ice cream cone hat, but every year he looks a little bit different. Yes. And normally he has these little holly wings. Yep. Uh, and Holy he comes food. in different sizes, so there's like... Big Mr. Bingles and little baby ones, yep. and sometimes they have the year sewn on. There's all these things. So many variants. <laughs> but the ice cream cone hat is what will tip you off. These things are worth money. People collect them, and if they're missing a year or a size in that year, mm -hmm. they will pay big money. If you can find Mr. Bingle from the 80s. Oh, man. We we had one that was new with tags from what? It was 83. The, was it 83? I think so, because it was my year. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, I think it went for over 100 bucks. So, be on the lookout for Mr. Bingle. Did you look this one over today? You did. I think this was 20, 2005. I think that's... Or 2001, I can't remember. That one's for some not the reason, 2013 is in my head. Or 17. We don't know. We're going to put it up here. <laughs> we looked at these comps a long time ago. Yeah. Like a week ago, which is a long time. Which is, a lot of things have happened, okay? I went under the house. <laughs> I have dirt in my hair. I oh, can't no. take a shower. Y'all leave me alone. Stop it. Go. All right. <laughs> this was a surprise for me. I didn't know this brand. What is it? This is Unbound Merino. Girl, I would have never, unless it felt good, did it feel good? It feels nice. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of... Oh, it does feel nice. Yeah, it's 50% merino wool, 50% cotton. And I was actually gonna try this on and try to keep it, but then I looked at the comps and it's worth 50 bucks. Yeah, we don't try on things for 50 bucks. So I got no problem letting this one go. It's just, <laughs> it's just a gray shirt. It's a gray shirt. <laughs> this, oh, let's teach them a lesson. This right here with the buttons, this is a button down collar, which makes this a button down shirt. Right. If it's not 
have a button down, then it's a button front shirt. Yes, correct. Now you know. Now you know, and as we all know, that's half the battle. Okay. Is the, what is this one? Is this, yeah, this is a Hugo Boss jacket that I got. It's called the James. That's the name of the style. Oh, that's good. That's styling. Yeah. Um, it's the black tag right there. Yeah, this can go for a lot, the Boss ones. Yeah, um, I love selling Boss jackets. This will probably go for, I don't know, somewhere between 50 and 60 bucks, I'm thinking. It's the Boss. It's the Boss. That's right. Oh. Here, if you go back in that little divot, there's room. Okay, great. We're in my maker space. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got a couple of a couple of sport coats because I, I don't, don't know, click I felt off. Like, felt like I, we had to replenish. Girl, and we they do. Were, yeah, it's a lot. But three dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, how can you say no, right? For um, a J. Crew Crosby. We love the Crosby. There's a couple of J. Crew jackets that we really enjoy selling. Yeah. This is one of them. If you can find it, and you the, don't have to. If you pay three fifty, yeah, for the, sure worth it. The sell through rate on these is great, and they they should go for. 60 to 80 bucks somewhere in that area forget about it bros love a crosby and do you have the other one I did have, you get both i absolutely got both and they were both they're both made with the nicer uh toleno 1900 italian uh you know. Gosh. this is our favorite j crew cut jacket to sell it's the ludlow we love a ludlow we sell these sell for us almost as soon as we get them uh, this is a nice a summer one. It's only got the partial lining. That does not mean it's lower quality. A lot of people think that. Show them one more time. Mm -hmm. So when you see this, you're not like, oh, that's low quality. It's not fully lined. No, no, no. This is a summer jacket. Yeah. If it was fully lined, you would sweat your patootie off. You would. Yeah. So it doesn't always mean that it's lower quality. In yeah. women's wear, sometimes it does mean that. Oh, okay. But in men's wear, it's a different story. Yeah, but this, you can still you know it's got some nice. Yes, you know, some to it. very nice. So the twill. The sole cost I them? found was 60, almost 70 bucks. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a nerd. Most suit coats are a, um, nope. Okay. It's yeah. a weave. It's a straight weave. I yeah. thought it was a twill. A twill is like what's in khaki pants where the oh, seams go. <laughs> 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 and I thought that's what that was, which makes it a little more cash. Okay. No, it was a straight weave. Great brand. Um, you found this. This Great is nice. Brand. Somebody donate all their good clothes. I know, right? This is Sandro. If you can find this brand. I have found this brand before, so it wasn't on my bucket list anymore. Come on, man. But it is a fantastic brand to find. There, there you go. go. S-A-N-D-R-O. You would notice it because it says Paris on it. Yeah. This shirt has never been worn. It is crispy, crunchy. It is very nice. It is it is just a regular t-shirt with some floral motif on it but it will sell I, what is this 28 uh, bucks yeah i found a listing i didn't find a sold comp i didn't so. find that actual shirt so that's great i mean still for a t-shirt right pretty sweet that we paid two dollars for exactly. i'm in sign me up coach all day every day all right i found the comp for this this sold for 30 but it has a belt this is e soft surroundings it's fine. um it's like a sweater dress with a cool lace bottom sweater oh. skirt sweater skirt something's happening here I don't know what it is ain't exactly clear there we go there you go so the reason we i think it. i picked this up did you pick this up you picked this, I picked up. this up the reason i picked it up well a is because it's a knit but b there's no slit in it oh nice we need to talk about slits okay if there is a slit in the skirt it's a maxi skirt in my opinion in a regular brand like Soft Surroundings, it's not as valuable because I can market this as modest. Okay. And I can put in all caps, no slit. There is a large population that is looking for no slit long skirts. Good to know. Yes, ma'am. And you can command a price for them because they are hard to find on the market. HTF. <laughs> uh, and we love selling Soft Surroundings, so that's yeah. good. It was only a couple bucks. Yeah. All right. Is that next, it? Oh, next yeah. up. Not it. I was actually... Three stores. I was not going to buy this. I don't know how it made it into the cart, but this is just an Armani Exchange V-neck sweater. Oh, I love this colorway. Isn't that cool? It's like fuchsia. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I would like a, wear this. Like a black 
checker. Is this your size? You would love this. No, this is large. I don't know. The thing I love about it is it has these <laughs> bright, like, it is. this is like hot pink yeah. fuchsia. This is so fun. Yeah, this was $4.50. It's Armani Exchange, which is, again, it's a diffusion line. It's like more casual. But yeah. Armani Exchange has its own store. It's like it a does. younger. <clears throat> yeah. But like I said, I found a soul comp for 40 bucks for the same sweater <clears throat> in a different colorway. This one's cooler than that one, though. I'm looking on the comp right now. Yeah. And that one's just blue and bland. This one's cooler. Yeah. This so, is a cool shirt. All right. It's very uh, mm -hmm. unisex, which I'm totally here for. I love it. Mm-hmm. All right. I got a... This is the Madras 7 short sleeve shirt from Barber. Y'all, Mar Madras is so in right now. Did you know that? I did not. No. This no. isn't like the most Madras I've ever seen. Right, but that's actually what this is called. Like, right. Realized it. I know, but they're like... Yeah. They're playing off of they, it. They so Madras is those like... You know, like preppy dudes wear those jackets that are like... Tch, 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 Madras is like the, the Indian. Right, plaid. but it's like, yeah, but it's like super patchy, okay. platy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like super. Yeah. In your face. Very. Yes. Right? This isn't in your face, but no. I'm just letting you know that that's on trend right now. Yeah. But that's so, a good brand. Yeah, the brand is really good. Um, the sole comp I found was for best offer on 30 bucks, but $20 shipping from the UK. So. Huh? So that adds some value. I think it does. Because people won't have to pay that shipping. <clears throat> so would you add that to your offer price? Uh, I don't know. I'd probably price it around 35 to 40 maybe and okay. wait for an offer. That's a good brand though. Yes. The jackets especially and the coats. The oh, outer, really? The outerwear oh, is I really... See. <clears throat> really valuable. So for those of you just tuning in and haven't watched our life story for the past three years... <laughs> We, sh we thrift separately, so we don't know what the other one found Right. all the time. Unless this I'm like, nice. oh my god! <clears throat> you found this. This is an Everlane sweater. Oh yeah. Which is a really, it's really heavy and a close knit. This is my size. I don't know. Might it? wear this on the plane. Uh, <laughs> Stop <laughs> trying to wear everything on the plane. God. So Everlane is a sustainable brand, and a lot of for a lot of people that matters, they're. Their practices are ethical in creating their garments. They recycle. They make things out of recycled fibers and sustainable fibers. Yeah, so this was $4.50. $4 it's a hit or miss brand, though, so just be careful. Their substantial pieces resell very well and mm -hmm. for a good money. But the t-shirts and stuff, it's similar to Madewell. Mm-hmm. 100% right? cotton. Mm -hmm. This is nice though. Really, like I said, heavyweight. So. And they pay their workers a fair wage. And for some people, like me, that matters. Matters. You um, know, businesses like, practices like that, they matter to me. And yeah. I would pay more for an Everlane than perhaps a, uh, something else. Yep. Yeah. Alright, this is a good one. Oh! I, I, I don't know this one. I paid up a little bit for this one. This is a soft shell, soft tech jacket from Mammut. I believe that's how you pronounce that. I think, I think it's, Americans I say Mammut. Mammut. <laughs> it's a Swiss brand. Okay. Mammut. Um, this is really nice. Uh, I found Soul Comps going up to as high as $150. It's a great brand. Do you have a jacket like this? I, I think you have this. I do. I snagged, I snagged one. From, he loves it. Yeah, it's really great and w weather resistant. I would have never looked at this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was marked forty bucks, so we paid twenty for it. But like I said, sold comp up to one hundred and fifty. We're so different. Okay, I would have been like twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Oh my god. Dan's going for it. Going for it. I'm gonna. I'm. It's gonna cash in his yeah. chips. Yeah, man. You gotta play big to, you know, win big. <laughs> it was one hundred fifty though. The comp, right? Comp was one hundred fifty. Yeah. Sold. Sold. Bam! Yeah. So that's 20 bucks. Well worth it. That's what I'm saying. Because you're going to take a $100 binge yeah, home I'll, with Yeah, I'll take a hunch all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of a hunch, here's another one. <clears throat> this is called the Peloton 200. Is it, it is, from Peloton? No. Okay. It's a camo uh, hoodie, hunting gear, cold weather hunting gear, from this new brand called... I'm going to probably butcher this as well. Uh, Kuiyu? What'd you call me? Hey, we saw the billboard. Yes. 
Uh, I saw a billboard for this brand go up uh, probably a couple of months ago in Dallas, and ever since then, I was like, I'm going to keep an eye out for that. And I did, and I found it, and it's expensive. So I found a sold comp for this exact hoodie for on an auction for $91. And Here's the it, thing. I got it for 8 Here's the thing about auctions. <laughs> 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 what's the th what's the thing of stop hiding it should no i have to focus <laughs> also i can't wear makeup because we don't have any water okay it shows the interest level yeah. so in the comp that he's showing there was 14 bids mm -hmm. that means it's in high demand 14 people on the planet at that one moment one of that one whatever of that it hoodie. is hoodie yeah. that shows you supply and demand i think an, an auction comp sometimes can be more valuable and showing you the value of something than a regular sold comp. Okay. Because you don't know how long that sold comp was listed. You don't know. Could have oh, been listed 14 years. Good point. <laughs> Dan's been on eBay for over 20 years. I have. Yeah. You should tell that. Some people do. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, that's how new I mean, I've only had my account that long. I what haven't been. <laughs> I think other people are like that, too. They just don't say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, I got a couple more menswear pieces. All right. This is a tan, kind of tan, chalk stripe suit from Canali. Great brand. Yes. This we have is, almost 100% sell through. I looked at it the other day. This is the brown Canali label, which I think is pretty recent, but not brand new, not, not current. This is rough because there's no pants. Did you look no, pants? No, I have pants. <gasps> I, have, I have the full suit. He's a good reseller. So you don't normally want to buy a pinch stripe jacket without pants boom there's the pants but he came through with the pants came through were so they listed the, together or you found them they were together oh okay yeah um the sold comp i have is for this exact suit and it was the best offer on 300 so i'm not expecting i'm not expecting that high but did you want me to, so i have a hot tip for you hot tip for me copy and paste that into terra peak oh so i can see exactly what it sold for Terra Peak is Smart. under Seller Hub, under Research, mm -hmm. and then if you copy and paste the title, like normal, sometimes, most usually, of the time, usually, yes. you can find exactly what it's looking for. Oh, so sneaky. I love it. Sneaky hot tip this time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm showing you guys some really high comps. My Canali usually doesn't sell for this high, but oh, I, that I, matched, I matched this one. Oh, that's probably, no, this is pretty good. Well, what's that tag hanging from it? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Good. Um, I matched the style number from this one and actually found the listing. So this is the same style number jacket. Again, it's the brown label. But it's got a really cool, like, gold and blue window pane. Yeah, these big checks are called a window pane. Yeah. And some people really enjoy this, particularly in... I'm going to say something a little... Sure. Particularly in politics. True. Political figures love a window pane. Yes, they do. Really and we've sold right some now. window paint things, and we always look at, not always, but sometimes we look them up. Uh-huh. Like, who you is? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I don't know why. Politics, people are like, oh, that's a nice window paint. Let me get one. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, it's attention grabbing, you know? Yeah, but not too much, right? right? You're still, like, undercover. You're still, you still got your ish together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got a little flair. <laughs> totally. You don't want to look too stuffy. Right. You're relatable. Exactly. <laughs> That plain charcoal's got to go. All right. <laughs> Follow us for more tips. <laughs> we got all the tips. Okay, this is from New Romantics from Free People. You found this. I sure did. did you find a comp I, I did find a comp wow. of this exact piece for a best offer on thirty nine ninety nine. So the New Romantics Free People, it's like a certain... A, there you go, that's the... This is why I bought it. Back that counts. Yeah, it's embroidered. <clears throat> it has this Aztec print. I could see someone wearing this at a festival in two seconds. Yeah. Uh, the New Romantics, it's hard to find. I really have only found it one or two times. It's just like a diffusion from free people, or like a certain line from free people. Okay. Kind of like intimately free people, exactly. But it's more of a festival-inspired vibe, and it's very young looking and very it i feel like it's a little johnny wuzzy okay, okay. i'm just gonna say it He's even though free it. people is kind of johnny wuzzy in general <laughs> this is more structured it's more you wouldn't know it was a free people at all yeah that piece it's thick and most free people is all floppy and fuzzy that's true yeah. and it's thick it's and, and, and right this yeah. one has structure to it it's mm -hmm. got like a million buttons like you put it on it's almost like a suit jacket 
And the embroidery is gorgeous. Yes. In person. Nicely done. I know. All right, I got another another Hugo Boss, but this time the complete two-piece suit. Yes, two-piece suits can go for more than sport coats, so. For sure. That's great that you can find both. And was this any special kind of wool? No, it's a stretch. Oh, stretch is good though. Yeah, the black play wool. Stretch in a suit for a dude, it's kind of like a good thing. Yeah. Because you can like move, you know? the, the when you're flexing. Exactly right. <laughs> bruh. Yeah, bruh. Go from gym to work. <laughs> totally. <laughs> All right, you found this. This was a what good find for you. This, uh, the I Untuck It this. For Her shirt dress. I didn't know that Untuck It had, had women's. I didn't either. We do have an sure Untuck do. It boutique or something around here. And here's the cool thing. So it has this tie waist. This is a like a tartan plaid. It's just really classic, the green and blue. Got the sleeve. So it, you, you know, you can, it looks super cash, but not. And anyway, it looks up comps in the store. This mm -hmm. was from a regular thrift. And it was like 40 or 50, I think. Sweet. And they were selling all day long. Okay. So look it up, man. Yeah. Sure dresses always do well for us. Uh, yes, 25 bucks for sold comp. So a shirt dress is where it buttons all the way down. Mm -hmm. And those types with that kind of menswear inspired look tend to do, the sell through I think on that is more important than the actual price that it sold for. Okay. There is way less listed than it had sold. Right. Which is great. Which is awesome. Yes. Okay. I found a comp for this guy. This is a Mickey and Minnie Disney Parks shirt. Is this good? It was okay. I mean, it has these it was bell sleeves. A best offer on twenty six ninety nine. So I'll have to dig into Terrapeak to find the exact. But right. Yeah, little, Disney Park stuff can do well. A little stamp on the back there. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's ever been worn. It looks new. Um. All right. I f actually found this. What's this the was, trick to finding this? Th the feel. Ah. For sure. I was like, as soon as I felt it, it was like heavyweight and kind of stretchy. Cause and, like, wait, don't tell him. Uh, this looks like a men's dress shirt, right? Like a, just a silly. Yeah, like a short sleeve. Like Stafford. Whatever. <laughs> but it, like I said, it feels really nice. And then there's a couple of other clues. Like it's got these vent holes in the, in the armpits. Mm -hmm. um, and just like the stitching on it looks really nice. I didn't even notice this zipper in the pocket until just now. And then um, I found on the bottom, the little tag. Where'd it go? Keep raising, go Come up on. higher. It's folded under, folded uh, under. There he is. Lululemon. Yep, and the men's Lululemon stuff does really well. Uh, and it's always, well, not always, mostly it's kind of concealed yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and the tell. buttons, their, their buttons are super plain, and but they're, you know, they're flat and, and fake. They're, Nice. But Jeff doesn't mark it up because they don't know. They don't know what it is. It's so hidden. Always the not always mostly the Lululemon logo is so like a women's. It's like Lululemon, you know. Right. A men's, it's like eat. Or sometimes they'll have just lines. Well, they had it. Bar, it was eight ninety nine. That's so still maybe great. Maybe they knew, but whatever. It was half price, four fifty. And then no, it's the, the women's Lululemon was the way higher. In practice shirt. Yeah, there was a Lululemon bra there for like thirty dollars. I mean, Which, it would have been fifteen, but it's still thirty dollars. Yeah. And that was nine. Yeah. I don't know if they know. Maybe. Maybe. Next. Next. And finally. What? Yeah. I got this more for sell-through rate than value, but cool. it's a Vineyard Vines performance. Is which this is, like summer comfort? It feels like a summer comfort shirt. Yeah, totally. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Like a bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Women's bathing suit. Um, so these go for about 35 bucks shipped. So. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, but it, like I said, sell-through rate on those is pretty, pretty good. So the moral of the story is look at sell-through rate because making $20 overnight is real fun. It's very fun, yes. Some people in the reselling community these days are saying, don't get anything where you can't make over blah, 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 blah. Hire ASP. That's all I hear. As... As a couple of people here, business partners, hey. that have just sold, y'all, we have sold over a hundred items from a haul 
we just did in the yep. last two weeks. We sold over a hundred items of about twenty dollars profit. But they sold so fast. We've made three thousand dollars on twenty dollar items. Am I saying that that's all you should pick up? Absolutely not. But the sell through rate is what's important. Meaning yep. it's gonna sell fast and not sit in your house and collect dust. Yeah. It's so, gonna give you instant cash flow, which you hopefully will be able to reinvest in better stuff. And I think this all faster, yeah. Much of this that you're seeing is all better stuff. Yeah. So just imagine yourself as like Mario. Okay? <laughs> and you're just like running through and you're like grabbing twenty dollar bills. I already love where this is going. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> Every time you listen, cha-ching. But if you look at the thrift, we're not talking about bins. We're going to do a bins haul right after this. We're going to be wearing the same thing. Prepare yourself. Bins, we don't check because we don't have service. Right. And plus, it's so cheap. But at the thrift, you should check. If there are no solds and it's not a seasonal item because it's only 90 days on eBay, I don't care what it is. Put it back on the rack. Put it, unless it's a seasonal item, like it's a sweater and you're in the middle of June. Sure. Because the part, previous 90 days, people aren't buying sweaters, right, okay? Right. Got it. No matter what it is, I don't care. If it could be the best brand in the world, if people don't want to buy it, it's going to rot on your shelf. Yep. I don't know how much more clear we can be about this. Mm. That's why we do these hauls and we talk about sell through rate the entire time. Yep. It's so, so important. If you want to run a business, it's the most important metric. You can do it. You don't have to make a lot on sell through rate, but the key is that it's going to sell. Yep. Twenty dollars is better than no dollars, and a lot of this stuff will get us twenty or thirty bucks in the bank in a day or two. Yes, love it. I hope that motivates you yes. for the new year. It motivates me. Make your New Year's resolution sell through rate. Do it. Do you it. You can do it. You can. We believe in you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays! Bye! Bye.